So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the lash boost and I'm going to do it for two reasons. One, um, Rodan and Fields is doing an amazing offer right now where if you do a bundle, if you do a regimen and a lash boost, um, it's an incredible savings. You get 20% off. Um, and if you're a preferred customer, then you're going to get 10% off. So you're going to get, sorry. <laughs> you're going to get 30% off. So it's kind of crazy. And then my other reason for, oh my God, sorry. <laughs> so my other reason is um, because, you know, we did that uh, RF go naked thing. And um, I usually wear mascara. And even at my uh, big business launch, my, my upline, my sponsor, Andrea, she was like, Liz, just do it. Do the lash boost, you know, because I, I was concerned. I wear glasses. I don't know about you guys. So when I wear mas a lot of mascara, if I wear like falsies with my glasses, um, my lashes, they, they hit my glasses and then I get stuff all over. But uh, if I was to do the um, lash boost, then they would get thicker. And then I, you know, potentially wouldn't need mascara or any makeup, <laughs> right? So I don't know if you can tell, but I, I have lashes. They're not uh, super long. They're not super thick. So I just use mascara and then I'm happy. But we're going to try out this lash boost guy and we're gonna we're gonna truly put them to the test and see what happens to my lashes so I just use the redefine daily cleansing uh, mask in the shower rinse that off so now I'm just gonna tone my skin somebody asked me a really great question uh, what's the deal with toner right <laughs> well I promise you guys okay I've, I've said this before and I'm gonna say it, say it again I'm not a dermatologist and I'm not an esthetician but I promise you, with every question that I get, I will do my due diligence, research for you, and get back to you. So, so what's the deal with toner? Is it necessary? What's the point? I mean, it's not cheap, right? And we're just putting this like liquid stuff on our face, and it doesn't feel like it's doing anything. I mean, really? Like, if we're brutally honest. Um, I will tell you this. In the uh, educational materials that they gave me, uh, when I purchased this regimen, um, the this line in particular, the Redefine line, which is for, well, all the lines are for uh, fighting aging. Um, they all have an age uh, fighting component to them. Uh, but this one is just for, you know, age fighting. All the other ones have like a, this is for sensitive skin, this is for pigmentation, this is for acne. So if you don't have any of those and you're just worried about preventing aging, you're going to want to use this. Well, this pore minimizing toner, that's its main thing. Um, so it has a combination of pore clarifying ingredients, minimizes the appearance of enlarged pores in this fast acting alcohol free liquid vehicle. Uh, gentle polyhydroxy acids exfoliate pore clogging dead skin cells while, oh my God, that big O word. Uh, help reduce the appearance of pores. So I'll find out for you. We also talked about like the pH balance because um, this particular person that I talked with today, uh, she used to sell Arbonne and she's like, you know, it was like 10 years ago, but I think it has something to do with the pH balance of our skin. So I'm going to look into what is, what is the benefit of using a good toner. So I'm going to finally use the Lash Boost. Let's do it. So you basically just swipe off any excess from the brush and we're just gonna put it on our lash line as if you do like a liquid liner and I will post a picture of this is what sold me um, there was a guy uh, who wanted to support his wife and did it on just one eye to see if it really worked oh my god you gotta see this before and after it's ridiculous he's got these super long thick lashes on just one eye it's hilarious so yeah, you just put it on. I am wearing contacts right now. Somebody else asked me, can you use it with contacts? And the answer is yes. Uh, the key is put it on clean, dry eyes. So make sure you take off all of your makeup first. Um, make sure your eyes are dry and then you leave it on for at least 90 seconds. So while that's drying, I'm going to roll. Um, something cool that uh, somebody brought to my attention because I was racking my brain, you know, Rodan and Fields, they've got their, you know, their thing that sets them apart from everybody else. And what is that thing? What is Rodan and Fields thing? Well, um, for me, it's that all their products are developed by a dermatologist. 
and their dermatologist's grade. Uh, there's stuff that you would, there are ingredients that you would actually find that a doctor would actually prescribe to you. So I was racking my brain, like, is there any other lines or brands that are that have that same theory or philosophy or you know backing? And I was talking to an old coworker of mine. And she was saying how um, she's in school right now and she's going to be an esthetician in October. She grads, graduates and she was thinking of using Murad. And I was like, that's it. That's the brand that Rodan and Fields, uh, I guess, is our closest competitor. And the reason for that is Dr. Murad is a doctor. He's a dermatologist and he developed the products and so they're products that you know you can trust because they're products a dermatologist himself would use. The difference between Dr. Murad and Dr. Rodan and Dr. Fields is Dr. Murad, no offense against you guys out there, but he's a man, right? And Dr. Fields and Dr. Rose, uh, Rodan, they're women. So, I mean, let's support our fellow sister, right? <laughs> so that really kind of gave me a lot of like, Ah, oh, nice, you know, I'm working for a company that's owned by women, so that made me pretty happy to hear. Another thing that I found out about Rodan and Fields uh, recently, there's a really great YouTube interview um, because Dr. Katie Rodan, she uh, went to USC before transferring over to Stanford Medical School, um, and she has this great interview where she uh, did a presentation for uh, USC students and she talks about her whole life. I didn't know she grew up in Woodland Hills, which I thought was pretty cool because that's it's really close to where I live. And um, and she struggled with acne growing up. So I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense why she was, you know, interested in becoming a dermatologist. Well, she was so she she's just you can this is all public knowledge. She just recently turned sixty. She she was born in what 1955 ish. Uh, which means she would have been a teenager, what, in 65, I don't know, 1970. Well, she was talking about how the products that she used as a teen to fight her acne in 1970 were the same products 15 years later that were still being prescribed in the dermatologist's world after she finished school and started her practice herself. And that's what inspired her to really figure out what was going on in this acne market and why it was just limited to one prescriptions, prescriptions she was using when she was a kid herself. Um, there was just, nothing was changing. And, and why the stuff that you get in the stores, those were just treating stuff topically, you know? It was just those little, you know, like Oxy, the drying pads and the, the little, uh, I don't know, the creams or whatever that you use to dry out a pimple. And the theory behind that is, you know, you wouldn't brush a teeth after your, you wouldn't brush your teeth after you get a cavity. You brush your teeth before you get the cavity to prevent the cavities, right? So she knew that being a doctor. And so that's one of the reasons Dr. Katie Rodan and Dr. Kathy Fields uh, developed pr uh proactive, I don't know if you guys know, maybe you do know, maybe you don't, but these doctors, Rodan and Fields, they created proactive. And um, so they created proactive and they, they pitched it to, you know, Neutrogena and all the like, you know, big brands and everyone was turning them down. And you want to know why it wasn't so much because they didn't have a great idea because they did. And their idea was to prevent acne before it starts because the pimple you see today is a pimple that actually started like a couple of weeks ago. So they knew, you know, we need to develop a system for people to prevent pimples so that they don't have to feel like they have to wear makeup forever. Or they don't have to use, you know, prescriptions and they don't have to use drugstore stuff that doesn't really do anything but dry out your skin. So they pitched to Neutrogena and everyone kept turning them down. You want to know why they kept turning them down? Because the acne market back in that day, I think it was like the mid 80s, late 80s, maybe early 90s, something like that. It was only worth $250 million. Now to us, that's a lot of money, right? But for big businesses like Neutrogena, it's not really worth it. The acne market wasn't really lucrative. Well, guess what these ladies did? Because they took matters into their own hands and they educated people by literally taking $30,000 of their own money and starting those infomercials with Gunthy Raker. Like that was their money. <laughs> and, 
And they're just, you know, middle class doctors from Woodland Hills. I mean, nothing fancy. I mean, it's more money than I have, but <laughs> um, so they educated people and they, they, you know, explained how, you know, the reason that this acne market back then was only worth $250 million, which they turned into a billion dollar a year, now more than that, because Proactive is the number one selling acne brand in the world, um, is they educated people. And people who normally didn't consider themselves as somebody with acne started realizing, oh yeah, you mean these pimples that I have like occasionally that pop up like all the time, I can prevent those from happening and I don't have to you know, wear tons of concealer or wear foundation every day and I can just like love the skin I'm in. So that's why they changed skincare forever. And now what was a $25 million, a 200, I'm sorry, $250 million a year uh, skincare or sorry, acne market became a billion dollar a year uh, market and that's why they became number one they they changed the way people viewed uh acne care and they kind of made it cool you know by using you know katy perry and p diddy and justin bieber whether you and i think they're cool <laughs> a lot of people do all right so after rolling you just want to rinse the roller with warm not hot water and you're just going to want to soak your roller in um a cleansing solution, whether that's the tablets that Rodan and Fields uses or um, just some alcohol. And you're going to want to soak it for um, these little tablets. Oopsie, take 15 minutes. But if you use um, alcohol, then anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Um, never soak your roller overnight. You do not want to damage the needles. So, And you just want to soak the head. So, um, oops. Being uncoordinated right now. I hope everyone had a good weekend. Mine was mostly indoors in the air conditioning. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I don't do that great in the heat. <laughs> in fact, right now, like I'm, I'm kind of melty. I mean, this is not sweat. This is I got out of the shower. My hair is uh, wet from the shower. So my I um, have been talking your ears off for at least 90 seconds. So my lash boost is dry. So I can now put on the rest of my product. Um, where's my little lids? I'm gonna store this little guy and this should be used daily. You do not need to use it more than once a day. Also, the clinical studies that they did did not include putting it on bottom lashes. You can do that if you want to, but the clinical studies um, that were done were only done on the top lashes and they found that uh, more than once a day was not necessary. So um, so that being said, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put on my night serum and the night serum contains uh, retinol and peptides which work more effectively when used at night. You can do this during the day but our skin recharges at night and so you're getting really the full benefits of the serum and after you roll you can use the serum without rolling it's gonna feel great it's gonna do your skin amazingly good but when you roll there is such a difference your skin feels so good um, I always compare it to like gardening, you know, when you loosen up that soil, you really get uh, an, a better opportunity to put all those good things in the earth, right? So we're putting all those proteins and vitamins. Um, oh, it feels good. <laughs> all right, so we've got our uh, night renewing serum after rolling. I'm now going to use my eye cream. And I just always ever just tap my finger. You need so little of this stuff, like a little goes a long way. I don't know about you, but I like to make my dollar stretch, so. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, I'm gonna use my night renewing serum. Oh, I'm sorry, gosh. Overnight restorative cream. <laughs> oh. I should mention, 
somebody had uh, asked about using the roller. Uh, can the roller be used with all regimens? The easy answer is no. <laughs> okay. The thing to remember is never use a roller on active acne or irritated skin. So if you have rosacea, if you have acne, if you have pimples, um, do not use the roller on your skin. So, so to make it easy, if you are using the Soothe Regimen or the Re, sorry, Unblemish Regimen, you do not want to use the roller until, until you no longer have active acne and you're only using this as preventative uh, pimple. <laughs> Oh, hi, Angela. Oh, you rolled today. Okay, cool. As long as you're not rolling it on uh, any active acne, I know you're using the unblemish. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see your after photos. Angela only became a consultant, what, like two weeks ago, and she's already noticed a huge difference. I think she even noticed a difference after one week of using unblemish. So sorry, I got distracted. So if you're using either of these regimens, you can use the roller, however, you do not want to use it on irritated or act, active acne skin. Um, if you're using redefine or reverse brightening, you're in the clear. If you're using reverse lightening, you do not want to use the roller. And the reason for that, and I had to write this down, um, and thank you, Alicia, or Ali, she's on Facebook as Ali. Um, for explaining to me um, something called hydro, I'm going to say this wrong, hydroquinone. It's, it's a natural occurring substance. It's found in blueberries, broccoli, and meats. And um, it's, it's the only product it's found in or regimen that it's found in is in the redefine, I'm sorry, God, I'm tired, you guys. The reverse, <laughs> the reverse lightning. There's two reverse regimens. There's brightening and there's lightning. Now lightning is for dark marks. So I'm just gonna get you the exact verbiage that they use. So the lightning is a, um, it's for the appearance of stubborn dark, stubborn dark marks, patches and age spots. And that contains the, um, hydroquinone natural ingredient but not to be used with the roller you can use it with the uh, acute care patches or strips um, however the uh, reverse brightening is for um, discolored skin uh, and that contains the vitamin C and retinol you don't have to have discolored skin it really just kind of gives you an overall bright look and a fresh look. I use it on my skin. I do not, I wouldn't consider myself with discolored skin. I, I had some redness, but the, um, the Soothe Regimen toned that down. Um, all right. So I think I'm rambling at this point. How many minutes has this been? Oh, I can't tell. So, uh, want to be mindful of your time. Oh my God. I'm sweating. You guys, could you tell I had like, okay. Um, hope you guys had a nice and refreshing weekend. Get a lot of rest tonight and have an amazing week. Bye.